Hello again, this is Paul Frankel at Sculptera Winery. Well, we are back in the vineyard today and I wanted to discuss something that's really important that we do, it's how we prune. This particular vineyard is really interesting because these vines are head trained, but they're cane pruned, meaning that we prune back to the head of the vine, but we leave a certain amount of spurs and canes. Now the spur, if you look, is about two inches tall and we leave two buds on that spur. Now the canes that we leave, we have to choose which canes we're gonna leave and tie back onto the guide wires. These canes that we choose, we're trying to look for a cane that has the most buds because each bud is a potential leaf, tendril, or even a cluster. The amounts of buds on a cane will determine how much fruit is going to be left on the vine. If we want one ton per acre, we could prune to that. If we want four tons per acre, we could prune to that. These are pruned to about three tons per acre, which year after year we've looked at these vines and that really makes the best wine. Cane pruning, this style, works the best. In fact. A lot of vineyards over the last couple years have, have switched over to head trained cane prune cab. Again, because the energy is coming from the head of the vine and the canes are new and fresh every year, so you get good growth, good crop production from those canes. If you prune right this year, it really sets the stage for the next year and the year after that. If you prune the vine badly, it's going to affect years down the road, so it has to be done right. Great wine is made in the vineyard, made when you prune. So this is the first part of the year, the first important piece that makes wine what it is. Thank you for watching.